I have this to say to the modern young girl, gentlemen. Be free, express yourself. Take your life in your own hands and mold it. The world will try to rob you of your freedom, but fight for it. It's all you have to live for. Just relax. That's all for the modern girl, gentlemen. What else? Ask me anything. Hi, my name is Caitlin and welcome to my channel, That's All for the Modern Girl. I'm an amateur sewist who began sewing back in January of 2020, which turned out to be the perfect time to pick up a new hobby. I'm an actress and musician by trade with live theater being my bread and butter. So with the pandemic shutting everything down within the first few months of 2020 and no live performance held for the foreseeable future. So what's the point of planning for a future if it all can be stolen away? It's all I can do to hold on and survive. You can imagine how I craved a creative outlet of some sort. So I continued sewing and later created this YouTube channel to share not just those projects but stories and inspirations behind them. I'm not a tutorial or trying to give step-by-step -step directions of what I'm sewing. These videos are more like sewing vlogs where I share not just what I'm making, but the inspiration behind it and the journey. With my performance now back, thank goodness, and much of my time being used there, I'm also looking to bring more of my passion of storytelling through singing onto this channel. It's a work in progress that I'm still navigating. But anyways, glad you're here. Let's get into today's project, pajamas. Today I'm making pajamas as I shared in my fall sewing 2023 plan with me. The pattern is an original vintage simplicity pattern 2053. I picked it up this past summer at one of my favorite antique spots and I'm so glad I did. From what I have researched, it's circa 1945. I customized my pair by foregoing the pocket and adding a contrasting cuff to the top and pants, which you'll see later. This project took me a really long time, as in weeks. TLDR, I got sick with a sinus infection September 1st that I'm still recovering from. It's a part of my genetic makeup, but even for me, this one was annoying. <coughs> tangent about that but stick and then I uh, attach it to <coughs> it took a lot of my energy required lots of resting and just really fought to make itself the main character and had to settle for the antagonist. Wow, this is just such quality footage right now. It made me really grateful for my health and my typical energy levels, and I'm glad to say both are coming back. Something I never mentioned in my sewing plans video was that I intended for this project to be done on my vintage Singer sewing machine, which I did for the most part. This incredible and beautiful machine was a gift from one of my subscribers, Eileen. She is an absolute gem and contacted me, oh yikes, was it last fall, to give me the Singer sewing machine that she had restored and brought back to life. And bonus, Eileen also gave me a gorgeous coat, which you can see in my Eleanor Parker video. Eileen's passionate about restoring machines and giving them good homes as well as helping others to learn to sew through her nonprofit. I'm so grateful for her kindness and generosity. So thank you, Eileen. Needless to say, I was intimidated by a machine I didn't know, but once I got to know it, it's so fun. It just it automatically stops it said it would do that it did it it has been a dream the stitching is lovely oh my goodness i'm sewing 
This really feels like I'm... Wow. Guys, this feels like I'm like a newbie again. The buttonhole maker is far superior to the automated one on my modern machine. And I just generally am enjoying its quality. And aesthetically, it is gorgeous. It's my first stitches on my 1950, I think it's a 1956. Wow. Okay, and then I think it said if I do, I did watch one video before this. Okay, if I go to here, it does a back stitch. Yeah! Wow! Fun! It's just so fun. It feels so different. No, 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 no. Yes, yes, yes. All right, off. Let's go. Cutting notes. I have to make the ruffle. Straight piece of fabric. Two and an eighth wide and twice the length, okay, of inner curved edge of B and curved edge of F. Okay, okay, got it. All right. Okay, well, everything is cut out and I'll just have to postpone it for a week because I'm going to the beach and now it's time to relax. But for you, it'll be just a second. Okay, so the ruffles, it looks like, are gonna be the first real sew on the vintage machine. <laughs> I'm excited and nervous. Usually I do a back stitch first, so let's do that. It's just scary because I don't still getting to know you. Oh god. I think it's like <laughs> it's me. I feel like I'm driving <coughs> I feel like I'm driving a stick shift or something. <laughs> like trying to go into gears. I've tried to drive stick shift. I will learn again one day, but I am very jerky right now with this. I don't have the, ah, uh, I don't have the um, same feel yet. We're, like I said, we're still getting to know each other. Uh, so I have to do it in short bursts. Uh, okay, there we go. Okay, okay. <laughs> it's just, it's me. Hi. <laughs> it looks lovely. It really does. Overall, oh my goodness, how exciting. And it's a really nice stitch. This is the beginning of the very first ruffle where you can kind of see these like different spots where I, I go wiggly and then it gets better but you can definitely I feel like correlate the parts where I was just saying I feel like I was in like different gears in stick shift and then this is the second one which is much steadier yes much steadier <laughs> just like one of those things where a little more specificity in the directions would have been helpful but we're fine I'm fine it's fine <laughs> at least I know what I'm doing now right I'm 
going crazy. I'm standing, standing here solidly on my own two hands and going crazy. going crazy. I can't find the other one. I've looked everywhere. Twice. I can't find it. I don't know where it could be. <laughs> I really don't. How does this happen? Here is my strewn of things as I keep searching through the pieces to see if it got stuck to something. I got nothing. <laughs> I knew what I was doing, but I don't. I wonder how many times I say I don't know to myself. Tonight's progress was putting the ruffles onto the front piece of B and then attaching B to A, which is the front of the pajama shirt, by top stitching it. Tomorrow I need to um, rip out the basted seams that I have here and the basted seams too. I have two basted seams here. Oh. Sound like the kid in Christmas story. a great angle winning at these <coughs> maybe I can just put it there and squat mm, yes I definitely want to be on camera right now <sighs> so these pajamas <coughs> excuse me <coughs> I had this really cute vision of like how I would do the reveal on these and um, now I'm just thinking like I should just channel Meg Ryan in You've Got Mail. A terrible cold. I'm stifling and I'm not really awake and I'm uh, uh, taking echinacea and vitamin C and sleeping practically 24 hours a day. I have a temperature. <sighs> and sit there with like a box of tissues because these are turning into my <laughs> like sick pajamas because because I'm still sick. I 
I should also say one thing. I'm not in pajamas right now. I've been in pajamas. I've been living in pajamas, but I get to a point where I cannot wear pajamas anymore. I am craving normalcy, which is why I've done my hair and put on like a little bit of lip because I just need something to make me feel better. And those things are making me feel better. Okay, so next up we have the facing that I did yesterday. And I'm going to attach it to the top now, but it needs to be right sides together. Super cute, feeling a little bit like a smock or like a 1950s maternity something. Honestly, really pleased with how this is turning out. I know it's not like a full look, <laughs> having this on over my shirt, but it means that I am staying true to my goal of making it, just making sure that it is big and oversized. Next up, probably sleeves, but I haven't actually looked at the directions, so. While making the set, I hit a few road bumps, but of course, it wouldn't be a sewing project without it where I had to either redo something or problem solve. The biggest hiccup for me was the pants, which hilariously I said at one point, it's just what I need right now. I need to see just like, like I said, just like a big task, though simple in comparison to what I've been doing with the top, checked off. I will just go ahead and do the waistband attached normally with elastic and gathers. I didn't want to do what they instructed, which was to do a side snaps closure. And instead I did an elastic waistband that I stole from Shrunken Pants. It took some trial and error, but eh, eventually I got it. Now the other issue was the crotch of the pants. Okay, we've got the waistband in and I'm really happy with how it turned out. I just cut it out on the pattern as it was and it resulted in a very low inseam that was giving Bert and Mary Poppins dancing with the penguins. So my fix was to adjust at the waist by bringing up the fabric and hand sewing it to the waistband. It's not pretty on the inside, but it did the trick. I was only able to do this because I was already planning to use the green fabric as a trim. So that prevented them from becoming some sort of capri pant pajama bottoms. So this is the best that I can do in this moment. I am going to say I'm also just, I'm getting tired of working on this project. Um, it's not its fault. It's just, and it's not really my fault. It's just life and what has been going on so anyways i think what i'm going to end up doing is pulling this up as i'm showing doing some stitching on the inside um to attach it to the green waistband on the interior the exterior you'll see is not actually affected and this may actually help me out because as it were i had a little bit of excess uh with the elastic anyway so um <laughs> it'll improve the fit so that's what I'm gonna do and then attach 
the green detail at the bottom and that'll fix the length issue. And I've learned my lesson to take the lengthen or shorten here seriously <laughs> so that I don't end up with Bert's penguin pants. With those last two things, I will be done. So, but look at this one. Just wanting all the attention. There's a cutie kitty. Oh, just a good one. Oh no. Oh no. I think I just bent the needle. What happened? Is the needle bent? The plate move? Yikes. Hold on, please hold. Okay, well, um, you all just got to witness me breaking my first ever needle, so I had to get pliers, needle nose pliers, because it must have wedged itself in between the teeth. I don't know, it did not make a great sound, as you heard. Another hiccup I had was the thread breaking when I was making the buttonholes. I tried everything. I adjusted the tension to zero. I went slowly with the pedal speed, but it happened a couple of times and I'm still scratching my head about it. No! Was it the thread quality itself? If you have any ideas, please let me know. Anyways, what is great about the buttonhole maker on the Vintage Singer is I could go back to the spot where it broke and continue on from there. If something like that happened on my modern machine, I would have had to rip it all out and start over because it's computerized and there's no way of just picking up where it went off. You have to start over. Once I got the hang of the buttonhole maker, I really enjoyed it. I would like to look into getting some more buttonhole plates for more variety in the future. That one, no problems. Thank you all so much for coming along with me on this journey and for making it this far into the video. If you did make it this far, go ahead and comment that pink blossom flower emoji down below. And if you are not subscribed, please go ahead and do so if you enjoyed this video. I would love to have you. And lastly, uh, please also give this video a thumbs up. It really helps my videos out, as I'm sure you've heard, like a broken record from many a YouTube video. So thank you all again for being here. I really appreciate you all and take care. I will see you all in the next one. Bye. Boop, 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 boop. Did the kitty go right there? Yes, it's a little kitty boy, so cute. She's so cute. <laughs> what are you doing?